Hi, this is Rick from EssentialPhotoshopElements.com. In the first two parts of this series on how to add and use extra brushes in Photoshop Elements, we saw a couple of different ways to add brushes. Now let's take a look at how to use your new brush set. Double click on one of the thumbnails and that will make the brush active and will also close the pop-up window. I'm going to choose this brush right here, so I'll double click on it. And the brushes in this set are all very large, as you can see from my cursor, if I move it over here. I'm going to reduce the size of it by pressing the left bracket key on my keyboard, and each time I press it, my brush gets a little smaller. Now I'm going to use my new brush to add some sparkle to my photo. But first I want to add a new layer to put the sparkle on so that I'm not making the change to the photo permanent in case I change my mind later. Go over to your Layers panel, which should be on the right side of your desktop, over here, and if you don't see your Layers panel, go up to the Window menu and click on Layers, and that'll put a check next to it, which will make it visible on your desktop. Now click on the Add a New Layer icon in the Layers panel. It looks like a sheet of paper with a curled up corner. That'll add a new blank layer above the background layer. So I'm going to put my brush right over this uh, reflection on this glass and I'm going to click on it to uh, enhance the reflection that's already there. Well, that doesn't look very good, a black sparkle. I want it to be white. I'll press Command Z on a Mac or it's Control Z on a PC to undo my sparkle. The reason that it was black is because your brush will use whatever color your foreground color is. The foreground color is represented by the top square of these two overlapping squares at the bottom of the toolbox. And you can see that mine is set to black. The bottom square, the one under the foreground color, is called the background color, and that one is white. And I can switch the colors of the background and foreground colors by clicking on this little curved double-headed arrow right here. Each time I click on it, they swap colors. So I can click on it if my background color is white and I need my foreground color to be white and I'll just click on it and now my foreground color is white. If the foreground and background colors are some other colors other than black and white, you can click on these little squares right here which will set them to black and white. Then to get white as the foreground color, again click on the curved arrow. Now I'll click on the rim of that glass again and this time it looks the way I want it to. Now I can go to my new brush set and double click on a different brush and use that. So let's see, let's try this brush here. And I'll click on the uh, left bracket key to make it smaller again. If you want to make your brush larger, you can click on the right bracket key. And each time you do that, it'll get larger, but I want to make mine a little smaller yet. So I'll go there and I'll click maybe right here. Maybe I'll pause it for a while and add a few more sparkles and then we can come back and look at the results. Okay, so I've added quite a few sparkles to this photo. I probably overdid it, but I was having uh, so much fun I couldn't stop. If I click on the eyeball for layer one to hide my uh, sparkle layer, you can see what the photo looked like before and then I'll turn it back on. You can see it enhances it quite a bit. So there's just one example of how you can use this new brush set. You could also use it on any other reflective item in a photo, like the chrome on a bumper of a car or to enhance a diamond, anything that's shiny and reflective, or even for fun things like on someone's teeth. Well, I hope you found the series on how to add and use extra brushes in Photoshop Elements helpful. If you missed the first or second part of this series, be sure to check it out. I'll have a link to them below. Until next time, this is Rick from EssentialPhotoshopElements.com saying take care.